Floods in China disrupt Yangtze River cargo flow. Port operations at Shanghai and Ningbo have been severely disrupted by the nation's worst floods in decades which have led to port closures on the Yangtze River. The floods, caused by heavy rains over the last six weeks, have also impacted container operations in southern China where reefer imports have already been disrupted by stringent checks on meat and other perishables due to COVID. There have been delays affecting feeder services along the Yangtze River and to Shanghai and Ningbo, a senior executive at a leading Hong Kong-based freight forwarder told IHS Media. Some of the feeder services have been suspended or are operating a reduced schedule for the last one or two weeks. From Wuhan to Shanghai, a distance of about 700 miles, it is now taking roughly six to seven days for a feeder ship to complete the journey compared with the normal four days. Danish shipping giant Maersk confirmed that ports along the Yance had suspended operations and while the situation has eased, heavy rain in the next few days could bring further disruption and port closures, IHS Media reported. The difficulties have added to congestion in Shanghai and Ningbo. Ocean Network Express, 1, said in a customer advisory that berth congestion at Qingdao and the other two cities had caused a three-day delay in the sailing schedule of the 8,100 TEU-1 Cosmos operating its Pacific Northwest Loop 4 service. The Yance is China's main transport artery between inland cities including Chongqing, Chengdu, Wuhan, and Hefei and East Coast commercial hubs such as Shanghai. Wuhan is one of the country's car manufacturing hubs, along with Hefei in Anhui province. Total container throughput at the river's 15 main ports climbed 10.9% to 19.4 million TEU last year, while total cargo volumes grew 11.3% to 3.2 billion tons, according to the river's Navigational Affairs Administration, part of China's Transport Ministry. The floods, which started in early June following continuous heavy rain, are the worst since at least 1998 and have so far killed more than 140 people and affected 27 provinces, regions, 